So the question is, is this the perfect thing to wash boats at the end of the dock? We're going to give it a shot. You've seen all the videos from everybody else. I'm going to use it in real world use. It's not a pressure washer. It's a power cleaner, DeWalt calls it. So my quick review on somewhere near Fargo. So the local L&M fleet in our area, and this is central Minnesota, of course, had a DeWalt tent sale today. And I'm a sucker for tent sales. And of course, tent sales really means, uh, great, I'm going to have a DeWalt rep that I can beat on. Of course, they got every Yahoo under the sun coming in there and talking to them about every tool that they've had or this or that or whatever. Why Milwaukee's better, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, I buy DeWalt just because it's accessible. It's better quality than just the basic stuff. It's no, it's not Snap-on. But you know what? The stuff works, so I don't care. And I've got plenty of the tools, and I've got plenty of the batteries around. So I go in there looking at the DeWalt Power Cleaner. I want to call it a pressure washer, but it's not. And everyone knows it's rated at 550 uh, PSI. So that's not a, a horrible pressure washer. The fact of the matter is, is all the reviews that I read, they said it will suck water out of any source of water. So in other words, hook a garden hose up to it or put it in a bucket of water, could be warm water, or drop it in the lake. That's what I'm hoping for. So I go in there to talk to the DeWalt rep and I said, you know what? Let's see the hose. I want to know what the hose can do. You know, is, is the hose going to have a, a filter on the end of it? So he says, yeah, well, let's go take a look. I don't know. I don't think it does. So what do we do? The hose, we look at it. The darn hose has got a float on it, so you can drop it in a bucket of water, and it's got a filter. And the filter is cleanable. You can take that filter out and wash the darn thing. So, hey, I'm all about it. If that sucker goes in the lake and it's long, it's not like it's a short hose, I should be able to wash my boat. That's the kicker. I just want to rinse the darn boat down. I want to get the bugs off. I want to, you know, take the water spots off. You know what? And wash the wave runners or clean the bird crap off the dock. Oh my God, the geese. I want to shoot the damn geese. But anyways, so here's the package. In the tent sale, you could buy the bear tool or you could buy the kit. Yep, the kit comes with the external charger and a five amp hour battery. Well, that's cool. I can always use an extra battery. And honestly, I wanted another charger to put up in the other garage. So that's cool. Now, the DeWalt guy said today, he says, if you spend 150 bucks, well, the bare tool was 149, he says, we'll round up. That's fine. $150, you get this really snazzy embroidered DeWalt t-shirt and 20 bucks off. I'm like, well, that's cool. So at 199 for the kit, and I've seen these as low as 149 for the kit, 199, I get 20 bucks off, so I'm at 179, I get the charger, just 30, 40 bucks or whatever, a t-shirt, okay, great. And he says, I'm going to give you this LED shop light. These are 50 bucks. I've got the small spotlight one. This is the LED version. Sorry, that's really bright. Holy hell. Anyways, so I'm under $200 with tax out the door. Well, the kit is cool because it comes with a net with all these ends, you know, the normal the normal ends. You know, you get the, the dirt buster end and uh, all those sorts of things. You got the tool itself. You got the pressure washer ends. Nozzle, which is proprietary. You see, they do make adapters for those. I've adapted them before. But a normal NPT end on it, or NTP, NPT, whatever it is. And a small foam cannon. Now, this is more or less a glorified foam dispenser. We all don't expect crazy things for it. But I have seen people adapt this thing to use the other foam cannons. So if I have my way, 550 PSI, 80 plus degree water in the lake, I should be able to go down there, drop that hose in the lake, and rinse the bird crap off my dock. Great. Put a, a load of soap on the side of the boat. Rinse it off. I'm happy with that. Heck, the DeWalt rep said his buddy put a five-gallon pail of water together and put his uh, uh, concentrated Roundup in there and sprayed weeds. I might not do that. <laughs> I might not use it to pump fuel. I, I might, I'm not going to do any of that kind of stuff. I'm going to use it for washing. So I'm going to put some shorts on. We're going to hook this thing up. I'm going to go out to my shop and get some car wash soap and fill that soap canister up, and we'll try it. And I'll let you guys know, because really what you want to know is see what this thing can do. And is it worth 200 bucks? If not, it's an expensive toy. The DeWalt rep also told me, if you don't like it, bring it back. We'll give you all your money back. I'm keeping the t-shirt though. Screw them. <laughs> More to come. Okay, so I went out to the shop and I grabbed, of course, the most generic bottle of soap. Of course, the Blue Coral, you know, the stuff from Walmart. Cheapy, cheapy, but, you know, here's the soap bottle. And this is just a detergent bottle. There's really no special nozzle on it or anything like that. Most of these, you're gonna mix them about, you know, 10 to one, you know, 10% soap. 
maybe 20 to one if you want really thick soap, but we're gonna just try it out, see what it does. Maybe we'll have to get an adapter and try using our foam cannon and see what it does. But these are usually not designed to fill up with soap. If I do a 10 to one on it, I'll do 10%. You know, the blue coral, maybe I'll do 20 on there and then fill up with warm water. And if that doesn't work, great. When I'm down in the dock, I'll bring my other bottle with and I'll go and fill it full of soap. I mean, the blue coral stuff is pretty cheap. So I'll just see what it does. And that's what I do. And see how fast it goes through the soap too. That's what's important. Of course, that will have to attach directly to the DeWalt pressure cleaner. You know, there are the power cleaner. So it, we'll see how it goes. We'll go from there. So what we got is the, we've got the pressure washer, or the power washer, I should say. Got the the hose for it, of course, with the float and the filter on the end. And a, we've got our soap solution. The soap solution's in a dispenser. We've got to mix about four to one. It should be like 10 to one. So it's about 25%. But the kicker that we've got out here is the bird crap on the dock. The bird crap is something that I'd like to clean off. Now, obviously I can do that with a broom. I can dip it in the water and sweep it off. No big deal. If I can do it with this, great. That'd be cool. If I have to throw some soap on it, that's cool. I don't care. Clean it up. It brightens up the dock. We've got a beautiful Lumigrain dock here. But what I'd like to do is the boat. I'd like to get some soap on the boat. Give it a little rinse down. Great. Put some soap on it. Wash it off. Maybe do an acid wash on the hull or whatever and rinse it off. That'd be great. Or the wave runners. Try to whatever. Clean this stuff up. So if it does that, I'm going to be giggling. So let's unwrap this hose, drop it in the lake, and just see what it does. I got a full charge on the 5 amp hour battery. See how it runs. We'll go from there. Okay, so here we go. Get the hose. It must be, I don't know, maybe 20 foot or so. We'll see. Yeah, no, maybe not that long. It's more like probably about 15 feet. Let's see. I'm about roughly six feet tall. Six. Twelve. Yeah, we probably got 20 feet of hose. That's okay with me. There's your filter and your foam end on it. We're going to hook this onto the power washer. And of course, we are missing the adapter end. This is set up to hook onto a hose. We got to put the adapter in, so we got to go get that. That's upstairs. Let's give it a shot. I'll be right back. Okay, so inside the bag, it comes with a mesh bag. It's going to come with a number of adapters, and this particular one has a filter inside of it. Not only that, so you can filter your garden hose, it can also filter the water that's coming in from the lake. Now, this is a quick attach, so now we're on and we're ready to go. We've got a five amp hour battery in there. And there's a filter in the other end as well. So literally, I'm gonna kick that hose in the water. Well, we'll see if it sucks. There we go. Okay, it's floating in there. Got a safety trigger on here. Give it a shot. Sucking up some water. Come on, baby. Yeah, there we got water. Okay, so it's sucking now. Got a little bit of pressure. It's nothing crazy. Let's see what we can do with this bird crap. Let's see. Let's see if I can hurt myself. No, nah, it's not going to hurt anything. It's more or less a high-pressure garden hose. But it's taking the bird crap off, and it's taking some dirt. But I can see that it's not cleaning the terrible one. But I got a, quite a bit of dirt on here, too. So, But if you notice how much dirt there is, there's circles on my deck. So it obviously has some pressure and there's obviously some dirt on my dock that's funny well, that tells you how serious the bird crap is because look at it clean the dirt off my dock okay that tells you how tough bird crap is because it left swirls on my dock that's not a good thing but you know what let's try a bigger or a wide blade tip we'll switch out we'll go to our wide one right there and these are standard Standard pressure washer tips. Let's get it sideways here. Well, there we go. Okay, so now we got a fan tip on there. I can see the dirt moving. Again, I can see dirt moving, but that bird crap does not want to come off. I get in real close. So we'll try a finer tip. I don't want to etch my dock, so that would not be cool. So that was a that was a 45. Let's go to the green. That's a 25 or 15. Okay, that's that's getting a little crazier. I'll probably switch through these. We'll go to a real fine tip. What I'm going to do end up next is probably get it wet, put some soap on it, and go. 
Oh yeah, fine chip works good. Yep, that gets us some pressure on there. That's taking the bird crap off. So honestly, I think this would loosen up with a... And what it's also doing is taking those swirl tracks off that the, that the other guy left behind. But I think the swirl is gonna be good for other things. Now, if I go look at the front of my boat, I might have some bug stuff on here. Great. It's gonna work for that as well, and it's not gonna damage the boat. So I think that's gonna be just fine. Let's switch this out for the, for the swirl tip again. This is a turbo nozzle is what it's called. You can buy these any Menards or anything like that for any pressure washer. I use it on the ATV like all the time. I think it's a good abrasive tip that way. And I think what we're gonna end up doing here is we're gonna end up putting some soap on. So the soap goes on up here. So as we take this tip off, you can see it pumps water, not a whole lot. We put our, put our soap dispenser in there. Put it in, twist, let's see what it does. Uh, that's literally uh, soap, nothing more. I don't think we can adjust this tip in here either. This is kind of a joke. Yeah, that's doing nothing more than just blowing water. I don't think it's gonna get enough water off of there. Now our tip, I'm checking my filter. No, it's not plugged. It's sending water around, but... It's really not doing anything. That's no foam cannon, that's for damn sure. That's kind of a joke. This may work differently with a, with say a hose on there. I think it's putting soap on the deck, but that's a joke. So I'm not really excited about that. But it did put some uh, water on, or some, soap on the deck, so let's go back and try to rinse some of that off. And I think from what I'm seeing here too is the soap will foam up with the turbo nozzle now as we rinse it off. Now since this hose can go anywhere, I could pull this out into the lake and get it out of my way. Because my dock is kind of leaning in that direction. I'm going to try to come back at you towards the camera. Soap just to loosen up the bird trap. Put it that way. Do like that. It literally is a soap dispenser. I mean, that's really what that is. It's nothing more. But we don't have enough pressure to really do anything, so we're going to go to a finer tip nozzle. See if we can see if we can move some of this soap off. Try it out. There we go. Now we got some water moving. This sort of motion seems to be working really good. It really sounds like my hose is probably getting hooked up on something. <laughs> I don't know what it's fucked up again. I'm not gonna pull that filter and give it look. You got a lot of hose in the water. <laughs> no, it seems to be okay. <laughs> Alright, it's just floating there in the water. Now 
Okay, so we got a clean section of dock. Yes, and this soap is lake safe. And honestly, the way I'm using the soap, I could just dump the soap on the darn on the dock and let it go with that. So let's see how that works. Okay, last thing we want to try cleaning. Let's. Let's try the back of the boat. In Minnesota here, we don't allow northerns on our boat. Well, last night I allowed a northern. Northern pike stink, and that's what I put on my deck. So I'm going to actually wash this off. i got a little bit of battery left, and then we'll give it a shot. Mm -mm. Get in there, buddy. Come on. See our first issue with the DeWalt power washer is the float doesn't keep the screen underwater. In fact, that float probably needs to keep slid up so that the weight keeps it down, but it was sliding up and they didn't want to do that. So now it was coming up to the surface. Okay, now it's underwater. So let's just see see if that works. It was getting it was losing pressure. So we can get some. Okay, there we go. Now we're going again. And it come up again. Come on. There we go. Okay, so we've wet this down. Then we'll put some soap on it and see how it goes. Because not knocking a whole lot of stuff loose. We may have to go to the turbo nozzle. Now this is sucking out of the lake, so we'll see what if, if our mileage varies switching to a, a garden hose because it might give us some pressure to it. But let's uh, let's switch real quick. Some soap on here. Okay, that soap dispenser is freaking pathetic. That is just really sad. Ugh. But it does put some soap out there. So it, if you call it a soap dispenser, great. You call it a foam cannon BS. Come on, there we go. Now keep in mind, I took a look at my battery on the brake there between sections, and I'm still at three bars, three out of three bars on this thing, so not losing battery power.
Final results. Honestly, I could do better with a bucket and a brush. I am just, I'm kind of disappointed. It's too bad because I wanted it to work. I wanted it to be that cool toy. Uh, maybe got to try with a garden hose. But if I can run a garden hose down here, I can, I've got electricity for my lifts. I don't need battery operated. I thought this would be cool. But honestly, no. If you don't have water and you don't have power, great. It's going to rinse things off. It will do that. Will it wash? No, it can't. It can't pull bird crap off the deck and it's not doing anything to the spots that I normally could rub off of my finger. So I don't know what to do here. I think it's going back tomorrow is what it is. It's just not cutting it. No. So there it is, guys. Thanks for checking it out.